continuing to spread conspiracy theories about government censorship. I've never said that this is a conspiracy. You've not heard that comment from me. You've talked about the Hunter Biden laptop and how the FBI knew it existed. You are aware, of course, that the uh, laptop, so to speak, was actually, that was published in the New York Post, was actually a hard drive that the New York Post admitted here was not authenticated as real. It was not the laptop the FBI had. You're aware of that, right? It was the same contents. How do you know? Because, because it's the same, I mean, it's- You would have to authenticate it to know it was the same, same contents. contents. You have no idea. You know you hard drives can that be it's a conspiracy? manipulated. Are you suggesting the New York Post participated in a conspiracy to construct the contents of the Hunter Biden laptop? <laughs> no, sir. The problem is that hard drives can be manipulated by Rudy Giuliani or Russia. Well, what's the evidence that that happened? That, what's well, the there is actual that evidence of it, but the point is it's There's not no the evidence same thing. No so you're engaging in a conspiracy I'm glad theory. you agree with me, Mr. Schellenberger, that transparency is the most important thing. And my last question for you is do you think it would be transparent if Hunter Biden came to this Congress and testified in a public hearing and more transparent than if he testified privately? It's, I mean, literally, I've never thought about that. I have no idea. <laughs> you don't I've know? literally never the, thought about is that. Is public the testimony time, more I mean, transparent than private testimony? Are you familiar with the First Mr. Amendment? Mr. Chairman, I yield back. The Congress shall take it, no action it, to abridge freedom of speech. Yeah. And, and that's what you just described. Mr. Schellenberger, is 13% censorship still censorship? Absolutely. And the other 87% is what we call the chilling effect that the courts have long recognized that they engaged in. You have that to, is the problem. There's a broad, op by the way, part of the operation, Congressman Holy Goldman, cow. part of the operation was to change the terms of service. So you see them constantly trying to change the terms of service. You see them, it was 35% of, of the URLs that were, this according to EIP, just were labeled, removed, or soft blocked. That's all forms of censorship. That censorship is not just removal. But 65% were not. So how can the government be so, so coercive? So does the First Amendment were, say that's that the about government for the can course can, government Does the First Amendment say the government can censor the time of the gentleman has expired. They're not censoring. They're flagging in the social Chair media companies. So the under coercion, 35% of the First Chair, Amendment? Or? Chair it's not the First Amendment. It's the terms of service, as you said, and they oh. are flagging it for the social media companies to make their own decisions. <laughs> that is not the First Amendment. That is the terms of service. We have just seen the Congressman, you're an attorney. You know that the four federal judges have already ruled that. And I know that it's on appeal in front of the Supreme Court right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, that debate was very constructive. Ooh, that was I fun. I think that got to the heart of the issue.